Hello and welcome to today's video on uh, how to install and configure DSCV server on Windows Server 2016. Every computer needs an address to communicate on an IP network and this address can be provided either manually or automatically. So DHCP, so Dynamic Host Configuration Protocol, is a network protocol that enables a server to automatically assign an IP address to a computer from a defined range of IP addressing. So for this demonstration, I'm using this Windows Server 2016 VM. And uh, before we begin, ensure that the computer has at least one static IP address assigned before starting the role installation. And let's check that. If I run an ipconfig command and on this interface, if you see, already I assigned the IP 192.168.87.5 and that is the static IP address. So let's start this uh, DHCP role installation wizard. So to install DHCP role on this server, click on add roles and features. On uh, before you begin page, click on next. And on select installation type, select role base or feature base installation and then click on next. On select destination server, we have only one server and that is your local server is emptv hyphen 16 tv 4 Select that server and then click on next. On select server rules, select DHCP server and it will ask to add the certain required feature for DHCP server to work properly. Click on add features to add that features then click on next. On select features, we didn't need any additional features. Click on next. This is a brief overview information about the DHCV server that is saying you should configure at least one static IP address on this computer. And before you install DHCV server, you should plan your subnet scope and exclusion. Okay, so click on next. Click on install to start the installation. Okay, as you are seeing, the uh, installation is succeeded on this server and it's saying configuration is required. Let's uh, complete the DHCP configuration and it will launch the DHCP post configuration wizard. So here is the description and it will create the following security group for delegation of DHCP server administration like DHCP administrator and DHCP user. And it will also create authorization of DHCP server on the target computer if the server is trying to domain. Click on next and this is our domain controller that's why it is asking for authorization. And we are going to use this uh, user's credential and that is mprtv slash administrator. Click on commit and that's it. It is successfully created a security group and our DHCP server is now authorized. Click on close to close both wizard and let's open the tools. DHCP management console and expand your server name. Expand IP version 4. So before a DHCP server can provide a client with an IP addresses, the server must be configured with at least a single scope. So what is a scope? So a DHCP scope is a range of uh, IP addresses that are available for lease and that a DHCP server manages. So a DHCP scope typically is a confined to the IP addresses in a given submit. So let's create a one uh, scope on this DHCP server. To create a DHCP scope, just right click on it and select new scope. Click on next on uh, welcome console and here let's specify the name of our scope. For this demonstration I'm going to use scope A. Click on next and let's specify the starting address and for this demonstration I'm going to specify 87.11 to 182.168, 87.254. Okay let's uh, specify the length and this will be default 24 so it will be the subnet mask will be 255.255.255.0. Click on next. We don't want to exclude any IP addresses, so let's click on next. And what will be the default use duration? I'm going to change it to 10 hours. Then click on next. See, you can uh, specify lease duration as per your requirement. Click on next. And do you want to configure DHCP scope? Yes, I want to configure the scope so right now. Click on next. Specify your router's IP address, and that will be the IP address of your gateway. So let's add. And in my case, it is 182.168.87.1. Click on next. And already there is a parent domain name is mptv.local. And I have the IP address of my DNS server. Click on next. We do not have any win server. And let's leave this to blank. Click on next. And yes, I want to activate the scope. Once you activate the scope, then DHCP server is able to assign the IP address from that scope. Click on next and click on finish. Okay, so this is our pool. Uh, starting IP address is 87.11.2, 87.254. And on address list, right now, there is no client computer. 
And let's go back to my uh, Windows 10 client computer where we can check the functionality of DHCP server. Let's open the network configuration mcpa.cpl and here's the my LAN adapter. Go to the property and on IP version 4 select property and here's opt in IP address automatically click on OK click on close and let's disable this uh, adapter let's enable the adapter and let's know let's see the status click on details and here we go we had a IP address from DSP server the IP address is 192.168.87.11 Subnet mask is 255.255.255.0 and the default gateway is 87.1. DHCP server is 192.168.87.5. If we come back to our DHCP server and on address list, just right click and select refresh. We have a client IP address is 87.11 and client name is this. If you see this unique ID and that is the MAC address of the client computer. Let's see BE12A. If you check on our Windows 10 computer, it's a BE12A. That is a MAC address of our Windows 10 client computer. So this is the way how you can install and configure a DHCP server on Windows Server 2016 and how you can use this DHCP server on client computer. So that's it for this demonstration.